Hi, my name's Gary Rhodes and here I am at the Rhodes W1 kitchen at the Grosvenor House Hotel and I thought I'd show you how to make a tasty, simple omelette. Stage one is the eggs. So everybody has their own ideas on what an omelette should hold and how it should be. Should it be golden brown? Should it be pale, soft? We'll wait and see and I'm going to show you what I think. As I said, the eggs. And for a normal omelette, it's looked upon as a three or four egg omelette. I'm just going to use the three here. These are lovely, lovely eggs. So we can use these. And now to season the eggs. Now, a lot of people put the salt and pepper in, but you do realize, of course, if you put the salt in now, it breaks down the egg. I don't want to do that. I just want a good twist of pepper, so I get that slight little fieriness about it, and just literally whisk. And the salt, well, you'll see when I'm going to add it. And it's a good idea to make sure your eggs, as you can see here, are totally, totally whisked up. So you're making sure that yolk and that egg create a marriage in the bowl. And that is almost there. One more little whisk. As you can see. The next stage is the butter. Let's just warm that pan slightly. And all we're going to need, literally, is just a knob of butter or two like that. And the moment it begins to sizzle, we're ready to start. Now there are endless flavors. You can make this a simple plain omelette, you can make it a cheese omelette. I thought that I'd add a few little ingredients just to show you the right method to use. As you can see here I've got a lovely selection, selection of flavors and I'm going to pop into this just some sweet peppers that I've chopped up just to lightly soften them in the butter. Just a little touch of that but I want to make sure I can still hold a nice texture about them, not overcooking them. A little touch of spring onion as well, why not? And then maybe we'll add a touch of cheese and tomato towards the end. So we've got spring onion, sweet peppers at this stage. And all I need to do, toss those around in the pan, and they're going to be virtually done. Because I still, as I said, want to hold that little firmness about them but without them having that sort of raw edge, just taking that rawness away. Next, the egg. And watch, when most people make an omelette, they're in a panic, it's a rush. In goes the egg. And notice, no panic, no stress, just let the pan do all of the work. It's as simple as that. And now, just stirring. So make sure we're working those flavors throughout the egg. Don't over panic. Don't get the pan too hot. That's another thing. If the pan is too hot, not only will it overcolor, it will overcook quickly. And I want to make sure we are creating, goodness me, a lovely softness, a tenderness, something that you really can't wait to sit down and enjoy. Right, we are virtually there. As you can see, still leaving that slightly soft center. One more little stir, that's the last one, and now I can spread this out into the pan like that, so it's all quite neat. Just leave it there for a second or two, and there are now a couple more flavors I want to add. Some wonderful cheddar cheese we can sprinkle on top, which will just begin to soften, but again, still holding its strength and its texture. I mentioned about the salt. Now we can just sprinkle a little touch of that salt on top so it doesn't break the egg down. And some diced tomato. Again, you've got cheese, tomato, sweet peppers with that lovely little spring onion bite. Now, the next thing is releasing it from the pan because we've managed to get... Look at that. I'm starting to move the omelette down the pan like this very simple just watch tapping away tapping away tapping away towards the edge and now I can start to lift it over like this lift this side over 
Okay, and now we can really create that lovely half moon shape. And we'll try squeezing that in once more. And this is still leaving a slightly eggy soft center. We've got there, let me show you. We're just folding it over. I will be able to change this slightly on the plate when it's finished. Let me get a plate to present it. And this is the great thing about it. It really could not be simpler to make. Easy, no stress, no panic. But still, nothing but great flavor. Let's just turn it straight on there, like that. And if you have a really good clean cloth, and this one is clean, you can always reshape it a little bit to finish it off and really get a nice little shape. Just turn that in, put it a bit more in the center of the plate, clean that up, and you've got that lovely little soft center as you can see. And now all we need is a little sprig. I've got delicious flat parsley here, straight from the British Embassy. What more can we ask for? Homegrown. And a nice little sprig of that just to sit on top. And here is a simple little omelette. As you can see, lovely and soft, gentle, no color whatsoever, so it eats tender. If you overcolor it, it becomes chewy, it becomes tough. I want this to be a melting sensation that is just full of flavor. There we have the omelette.